All right, guys, so I'm in my 2001 Land Rover Discovery right here. The thing is that um, the other day I was driving and my top radiator hose started to make contact with my vicious fan because I do not have the top cowl. Since my aftermarket radiator is a little too oversized, I do not have a cowl. It just doesn't work. So I had to immediately pull over. And that's when I figured, I realized, you know, I saw a bunch of water and pressure coming out of the hose. It was evident that it was a fan. So I went to O'Reilly's, which was right around the corner. And um, just got a new hose that, that worked. After that, it was good. After that, I got to where I was supposed to go. When I was heading back, I saw that it was overheating again. So I thought I had to purge it, you know, get the air out of the system. So that's what I did. I did that. Everything worked for a day or so. And then the car started overheating again. I couldn't figure out why. I kept filling it up. I was worried about a blown head gasket again. You know, um, I did find a little tiny leak right here, but that, that doesn't affect it too much for right now. Then I realized that the top hoses were hot, but the bottom hose was cold. So I took out my thermostat and I put it in a pot of boiling water and I could see that the thermostat does open. So I put the thermostat back, my old one. And I tested my car about four more times and the car kept on overheating. So I went and I got another one at the store. Brand new thermostat from the store. When I put it in, now everything is good. My car idles fine. It's a normal temperature. I can feel that the bottom hose is warm. Now I can feel that my whole radiator gets hot evenly everywhere, the top and the bottom. The problem before was that I could feel that the hoses were hot at the top and cold at the bottom, but so was the radiator. The radiator was hot at the top and cold all the way on the bottom. So it was basically hot just right here in this section, the hoses, top part, and then this part, and that was it. Nothing below it was hot, just that. And then this over here, it kept overheating. I guess the water wasn't circulating due to the bad thermostat and it kept um, steaming. So it was steaming before the thermostat would even open or before the car would even read that it's overheating. Also the auxiliary fan right here that only turns on when it's overheating, it was turning on without the car actually overheating. So it was weird. It was either my thermostat. It was not my pump because my pump was pumping. I could see water coming out of here. So the water was being pumped. Um, so the thermostat. Then I figured out that my, my vicious fan is not working properly. When I turn on the car, it spins, but it doesn't spin as fast when it, 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 it never engages actually. It just kind of spins, but you're able, I'm able to stop it in motion when the car is fully hot and functioning. So that means that my clutch is done, which affects my temperatures at idling when I'm at uh, stoplights and things like that. 
since there's no air being passed through here, or at least not as much as there should be, as when the clutch, as when the clutch engages and drives a fan. And this right here is what I came up with the other day. So this hose doesn't touch my fan again and damage it. Ox cord. But yeah, that was it. Now my cars feel fine. Everything is good. Should be able to go back out and drive it. Fortunately, it wasn't a head gasket. It was not. It was not a head gasket. It was not a water pump. It was just a thermostat, 35 out thermostat. 